name's Jerry Ralston. I was a lifelong Republican until Donald Trump won the nomination. I can tell you, I cannot stand his lies and his scorched earth politics. If you're going to be successful in politics, you do need to know how to talk to the other side and work with them. But that's not Trump. Of course, it starts back during the Vietnam War. Now, I'm a Vietnam era vet. I got lucky. I didn't get sent to Vietnam. But I served my two years, got out, and started my life over again. What did he do? He managed to play politics, and his father managed to get a doctor to say he had bone spurs and that he couldn't serve. You know, even Elvis Presley served his two years. When you have money or you're a celebrity, you're treated well in the service. But Trump couldn't do that. And then he pulls this, John McCain's not a hero because he was captured. John McCain chose to stay as a POW until the other POWs were released, putting political pressure on North Vietnamese. Again, when Donald Trump became the Republican nominee, I became an independent. And then a year later, I became Colorado's unaffiliated, so I can pick what party I want to vote for during the primaries. And speaking of Colorado, Colorado has mail-in voting, which is very successful, very handy, especially for my wife and I. We both have compromised immune systems. I have leukemia. I'm currently undergoing chemotherapy, and I may still be undergoing chemotherapy at the time for the November election. It's very important for me to stay away from people, stay away from crowds. But if Donald Trump has his way, if I want to vote, I've got to go get in a crowd and vote. And then another thing, I wear a mask. If I have to go outside, I wear a mask. Donald Trump doesn't believe in masks, doesn't believe in making people wear masks. At the very start of the coronavirus, I had to go to a store to pick something up. I wore my mask. I followed the spacing. And then I had somebody walk up right behind me, just about touching me, without a mask. And I looked at him and just said, if you're in that big a hurry, go ahead, take my place, and backed up six feet away from him. I have not been in a store since then. I see people out without masks. I watch it on TV. My wife and I do go out for drives just to look at things. I have no idea what Donald Trump is thinking when he says, you don't need to wear a mask, it's a personal right. You do not have a personal right to give me coronavirus. I try to do my social distancing if I'm out, and I try to stay in the house, I wear a mask. I wear a mask when I go to the doctor's office for my tests. I just cannot understand this divide and conquer attitude that the president has. I'm also a retired school teacher. There is no way in the world that in August in Colorado, it's time to put 30 kids back into a small classroom and expect teachers to survive. One must remember many of the teachers are older and are compromised in one way or another. So I think that's enough said. I will probably never be registered Republican again. I did not register on the Democratic Party because I don't agree with all their ideals, but at least they are 